gonna be great. Mill Creek, new life, clean air, wholesome small town values. Whatever you say, Dad. Was that 22 we passed back there? Jeez! I've never been very good at maps. Dad? Uh, Dad? Must have been 22. Wait a minute, Niagara Falls? We got the wrong map. Dad! Are you all right, son? You killed him. Well, why'd he cross the road like that? Get to the other side, you Barney. What do you think? Dude. <laughs> Very funny, guys. Then you're not laughing, dude. I was, but then you took your mask off. Oh. Don't bite me. Zach, I don't suppose you gentlemen uh, know where Mill Creek is, do you? Mill Creek? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of Mill Creek. Have you ever heard of Mill Creek? There is a Mill Creek. You know, it's back that way. Really? But Dad, we're you know, already... 40 miles down that way, then you make a right. <laughs> Dad? Remember what Mom used to always say? Yeah. Sometimes the thing you're looking for is staring you right in the face. Once in a while, I see a glimpse of someone I once knew. It must be just I'm telling you, I got a good feeling about this place. Finally going to be running my own TV station, Zach. Mom would have been so proud. You'll see. You're going to love this town. That's right. You just start her up and take off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't mind that noise. That's just the engine. Thanks for your business. Bye-bye. <laughs> Way to go, boss. A cherry Mustang for a living Dodge. Oh, Earl. I tell you, it's just like our great-granddaddy, dirty Dan Tanner, used to say. There's nothing wrong with cheating if you don't get caught. I love this car! Have a heart attack. 
Shut up! Cool, bowling magnesium. Yeah, no, duh. 180 bucks will keep your diseased mitts off. Ugly. Back off, snake! Look, geek, keep your little corn husking self out of this neighborhood. This is mag territory, so stay out. I'll make a note of that. Yeah, you will. Who's stoked for pizzas? Can I help you? I'm looking for Mr. Tyler. Who? Frank Tyler, the new station manager. Oh, him. I think he's directing a commercial over at Big Dan's used car lot. Directing? He's not a director. Mr. Tanner? Yes? Yeah, hi. Uh, I think uh, we're about ready oh, over here. Yeah. So uh, if you want to get one more rehearsal, Absolutely. just take your mark right over here. Look right in the camera. Okay. Well? Well, what? You're supposed to say action. Oh, that's right. I forgot. And action. Howdy. I'm Big Dan Tanner. Scaring away high prices. Now, you all might remember my great granddaddy, Dirty Dan Tanner. Hey, Dad. Oh, damn. What is it, Zach? Dad, I need a loan. I know this is kind of short notice. It's for a skateboard with gold wing magnesium. Come on, Tyler. I'm pumped. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Dad, all the kids have. I said not now, Zach. Dad. Zach. OK, I think this is it. This is a picture now. OK, we're ready? All right, let's lock it up. Lock it up. Roll like camera. And action. Howdy. I'm Big Dan Tanner. Scare away high prices. Now, you all probably remember my great granddaddy, Dirty Dan Tanner, once uh, committed armed robbery in this here town. Well, I'm telling you, he be tough. Oh, he's fucking sick. Hey, come on. Hey, turn I tell you, that Dirty Dan, we got eggs. We got eggs in the car. We'll do anything to make a deal. We're we're, that's right. We're drowning with desire to make a deal. Our prices are so low, you got to duck. And cut. Oh, you idiot, turn that damn thing off. Sorry. Now. Now, 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 now. Who, uh, who is responsible for this damn mess? Him, Dad. No way. Earl, will you get this delinquent off my property? Excuse me, Mr. Tanner. I don't think Zach meant... No, no, no. I'm not excusing anybody. May I remind you that these commercials comprise just about all the revenue of that stupid little station of yours. Do you get my drift? Uh, I own you. Maggie's second-hand shop. <sighs> Having a bad day, huh? Uh-huh. Yep. Me too. Listen, lady, I haven't got all day. I'm coming! Hang in there, okay?
I just don't get it. Uh, well, we must have made some kind of mistake. No. Yeah, according to your meter, you're all paid up. <laughs> don't that be all. Mike? Oh, no. Uh... Go ahead. Oh. Oh. I gotta go now. Uh, sorry about that mix-up. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Now if you could just rustle up that stupid envelope for me. You mean this one? <laughs> Sometimes the thing you're looking for is staring you right in the face. <laughs> Now, what can I do for you? Huh? Well, I'm not going to let my hero get out of a place like this without a reward. Uh, well, I guess I could, uh, use some brackets to fix the trucks on my board. What? Mm. I think this looks like a lost cause, don't you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold well, on. You don't have to... No, 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 no. I have... Perfect thing. Pretty groovy, huh? What's that supposed to be? Excuse me? This beauty once belonged to the amazing Farini. this crazy old man that owned the Mill Creek Magic Store. But you know, this could really be something special with a little work. You want it? Well, all right. Oh. 
Eagle Earth. Come on, boys. It's showtime at the Apollo. Barney with the corn huskers here. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wow. Come on, guys, back <laughs> off. Uh, 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 have a seat, son, because I gotta talk to you about a few things. You see, because I'm having a problem with your face. Oh, no. Seriously? Uh, 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 uh. I could use these, man. My system! I am going to kill you, you cat! It's your turn to attack. Wait. Yeah, wait. As chairman of the board, <laughs> I'm telling you, don't sweat it. These guys are Barneys. Pick on somebody your own size. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> don't get me started. What is this, Tyler? I don't know. Round and round I go, and where I stop, nobody knows. Hello, little toes that live in a shoe. Here's a little oil just for you, Tinkle Tinkle. Kill him! Yo, Zach, mount up. Let's get the hell out of here. yo -ho -ho! Posse thinks they've got us surrounded. Don't suppose you guys are pretty new members today. Look out, Dorothy! It's a twister! <laughs> He's gone! What? No! Oh, he bowed down on us! Get him! I wasn't assembled yesterday. Hanging all over, Rip. So, what else can you do? Modesty forbids, but if you insist, grab on! The sky's the limit!
grateful. snuck out last night, but something really weird happened. Dad? Rip. Rip. Can a guy catch some Z's around here? Never mind, pal. See my dad? Dad! It, it's, it's unbelievable. You gotta go home and check this thing out. Hey, pal, how's it going? Hey, dad, the skateboard. It's a lie. What? Well, slow down, slow no, down. Word, Dad, I swear. Yeah. His name is Rip. I know it sounds extreme, but he's actually alive. We're coming back from Cartoon and 10, Franco. All right, Zach, this is gonna have to wait till we get home. But, Dad. Later, 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 later. Three, two. Wow! Sure do love those Power Pal cartoons. How about you, little Franco? They make me so happy, I want to spit! And we'll be right back after these words from our friends at Big Dan. A sign there on the bottom line. One full year, bumper-to-bumper -bumper service protection. All parts and labor, plus a loaner car for you while yours is being repaired. Well, now, now that's more like it. Well, it's like I always say, Sheriff, you're in good hands at Big Dan's. Oh, hey, is that the time? Look, I gotta run, Sheriff, so uh, you can just, uh, you can just give her $50, huh? What $50? What $50? Well, it's right here in the contract. There's a $50 deductible for each warranty service that's done. But I thought... No, no, that's all right. I'll bring your uh, loaner car right around in a minute, Sheriff. So, thank you very much. I gotta go now. Listen, and thanks for your business, you hear? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. TV, he dies. It was my mom. She, um, she died last year. It's okay, Zach. Hey, kids, the night is young. <sighs> hey, you want to go for a run? Please. Hey, 
you and her mom wouldn't want to come over for dinner tonight, would you? You eat it, we'll eat it. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Okay, get in the back. By the way, you're only allowed two suitcases each. <laughs> How's my favorite purveyor of previously owned merchandise today? Well, that certainly is an optimistic way of looking at things. Well, what's the matter here, darling? You got those end-of-the-month bill-paying blues again? Mm, I swear, I think those doctors are buying Maseratis. Why, what did those quacks say this time? Well, they ran the tests, and it looks like Jenny is going to need the surgery sometime next year. Now, there is something you don't see every day. Mm. Oh, yeah, I found that in the back. You're giving me the hard sell again? Dan Tanner, I know what you are thinking. This is I a collector's item. I remember this, okay? Who else wants to bid on this once-in-a-lifetime uh, masterpiece, huh? Okay, what do I hear? Going once? Going twice? Sold to the very handsome gentleman in the Stetson hat. Uh, Dan, this is way too much. You are too much. I, I, wow. Oh, Lord, I just don't know what to say. Say so you'll marry me. Dan, I am so fond of you. It's just that it's too soon for me to think about something like marriage. I know, you know? I know, I know, I know. Can't blame a fella for trying, can you? But we're still on for Saturday night. We sure are. Same as always. Okay, I'll see you Saturday. Bye. Got Frankie boy, your fate is sealed tonight. Hey, Rick, have you been up around the house? Just remember, I don't do windows, I'm too short. Just put that joke in the closet. Oh. Okay, if you say so. 400 degrees for 45 minutes? No way. I'm starting a new moving company, Starving Skateboards. Back to Mundo. Yo, Dad, get hard to part. I'm gonna get stupid tonight. I can do stupid. Stupid I can definitely do. Oh, God, what happened to you? Crazy glue. What kind of lame, brain moronic clown puts his wig on with crazy glue? We'll take it off. I'll take it off. There's a thought. Uh, uh, I need it. Take it off. Zach! What's your problem? We're dead. We're dead? What do you mean we're dead? No, Dad, don't, don't answer it. Zach! Where's the furniture? Huh? What's this stupid skateboard doing in here? Stupid? Look who's talking! Let me at him! Let me at him! Cut it out! Can you, can you excuse me for, for, for just a, a sec? You forget to tell me something, pal? We're having guests for dinner tonight, Franco. Hi. Hi, I'm Frank Tyler. Hi. I'm not really a clown. I just, I play one on TV. Hi, I'm Maggie Mills. Hi, Maggie. This is my daughter, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Come on in. Can I take your coats or anything? Thanks. Sure, sure. What else could go wrong? So what? Do we serve ourselves? I love horror movies. I love horror movies. All I need is popcorn. Oh, gee, Ripley. Ripley, that meal was really good, but all of a sudden, I don't feel so good.
you? It looks like you're the one that needs the help, Tyler. Mr. Tanner, would you like to come in? <coughs> this is my son, Hamilton. He's a real chip off the old engine block. You know, Remember that big son, jerk I told you my mom's going out with? That he did that he went home and cooked himself up a humdinger of his own. He dragged me over here all the way tonight. Tell you about it, didn't you, Hamman? <laughs> yes, uh, sir. You? Oh, you're going to love this. If you're not 100% satisfied with the deal you get at Big Dan's Acres of Autos, why then, you can just lynch me up. Because if I'm lying, I'm dying. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm dying. He thought of that himself. What? Maggie? I, I, I didn't know you were here. Dan, I, I, that, I, I thought I heard your voice. You know, uh, Zach invited me and Jenny to dinner. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> yes, that was very nice. <laughs> All right, Jenny May Mills, we are no, going wait. home. It's just getting good. Now, Come. now, the men have some, I don't know, something to discuss. Uh. Frank, thank you so much for dinner and uh, and for the Peachy Show. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, maybe we can do it again sometime. Yeah, that would be great, Zach. Later, Zach. Jenny. Some more time. Don't think I don't know what's going on, because I see what's going on. I mean, you think I don't see what's going on, I see what's going on, so don't think that I... Look! And you keep this brat of yours outside of my immediate vicinity forever, or the only thing you're going to be broadcasting is price checks at Piggly Wiggly. What's up, man? What? You ready to take care of Barney? I'm down. I'm down. Let's do it. Uh oh, we got trouble. Why does your mom go out with him? I don't know. He always acts real nice around her. He's rich and mom thinks I need some bogus operation. Serious? Yeah. But I'd rather die than have mom marry a tanner. Especially after what happened to my aunt. Go on, what happened next? Mom says my aunt Sester used to run this town back in cowboy days. She owned the whole gold mining company and was really rich. Until Dirty Dan Tanner and his gang held up the payroll train, they stole about a jillion dollars worth of gold. For real! The sheriff and his posse caught up to them, and there was this big old haunted shootout. The sheriff raised his shotgun. Okay, Tanner, end of the road. And that was the end of Dirty Dan and my aunt's money. All that's left is this dumb old water tower. So what happened to all the gold? Nobody knows. Some people think Dirty Dan left a map. Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry.
We're a team. Okay, Bill, what can I do for you? It's about your mortgage. <sighs> Thanks. How about if I just co-sign that damn loan? Dan. What? That would change things considerably, Mr. Tanner. Considerably. Dan, I appreciate what you're trying oh, come to on, do. Honey, but we, this can't have, just... we can't have one of Mill Creek's oldest establishments go belly up. It'd be bad for the town's image. But, Dan. <laughs> no, but nothing. Banks, get over here and uh, set up those papers. Me and Maggie, we got some confirming to do. Now, listen, Dan. This is just. Marry me. Dan, please. <laughs> just hear me out. One minute. <laughs> Maggie, darling, now I know I'm not the most romantic guy around or the handsomest or the smartest, but you got it. Well, I might be maybe the handsomest and the smartest, too. I could. Well, I'm not, but I'm not wrong. Anyway, you got to know how I feel about you, honey. I mean, I really do have deep feelings for you. I mean, I ache for you, Maggie, and I somehow I'm I'm kind of thinking that maybe you feel a little bit for me, too. You know? I do. I do, Dan. It's just that I don't Look, think it's exactly I'm gonna, the same. I'm, I'm going to promise you something. I'm going to love you forever. I'm going to take care of you. If you would just promise to be my bride. yourself and started thinking of Jenny and her future. Now, wait a minute, Dan. Don't you... Listen to me, will you? You got a man over here that's going to foreclose on you tomorrow. I'm willing to co-sign the loan. Your little Jenny girl, she's got that ticker thing. I could take care of that in a minute. So what do you say? We got a deal or not? Okay. I'll marry you. Damn! Did you hear that? She said yes! <laughs> All right, nuptials tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow? Everybody's invited, the whole damn town. I won't never be Dean Tanner's daughter. Hey, something's up with Jenny. Come on, let's go. Here we are. Pick me up. I never was good with ladders. Uh -uh. Leave me alone. I can't believe she's going to do it. I can't believe she's going to marry that sleaze bucket. Oh, I don't cry. Dad. Way to go, Valentino. <laughs> You're a real sicko. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> yes, sir. I finally bamboozled the mills went into marriage. I tell you, it was like... It was like closing the greatest deal of my life, Earl. Well, I don't get why you got to marry her now that you're holding her mortgage anyway. See, you just don't understand about true love, cousin. Well, Maggie Mills is like a... Well, she is... She is everything graceful and poetical. Well, what, what if she backs out? Well, then I'll foreclose, you hammerhead.
The only thing is, I can't make hide nor hair of this 10M6L license plate thing. Here, let me look at it. Oh, these two guys are really asking this for it. Plenty of time now. Now that the last of the mill's property belongs to me. They deserve whatever they're going to get, and I'm going to love giving it to them. It's okay, Rip. I've got a plan. It's a scarecrow. Figures. It's just a screwdriver. Go back to sleep. Little child, go to sleep. Go to sleep, little creep. Moron. Our contestant is ready. Please open door number one. Whoa! Your prize is... gets anywhere near Maggie Mills with that map, you are an organ donor! Where are they? Tower to Jenny, Tower to Jenny, you mean? Come on, you little pipsqueak, where are you? Don't call me pipsqueak, where are you? Open the window and stand back. Our Robin Hood would be proud of you!
you have an idea. My wheels are turning. Oh, wheels, don't fail me now. Where the heck did he go? Where's the geek? I'm sure he'll show up. What's going on? Oh, uh, well, I guess, um... I guess I'm kind of getting married this morning. Married? I guess that means our date's off. Huh? Who's the lucky guy? Dan Tanner. You know, Frank, I, I don't really think that I can explain this one. Just, uh, believe me, I... I didn't think I had a choice. I'm gonna be so late. You know, um, we didn't have time to make invitations or anything, Frank. People are just gonna kind of show up down at the church, and you're welcome to come, you know, if you want to. I do. I, I, I will do. Big Dan's Acres of Autos. Big Dan's Acres of Autos. Uh, nah. Hey, hey, uh, all right. I don't see Jenny, Rip. Can you? I could if I had eyes on my stomach. What are you doing? This is our only chance. Gotta get the map to Jenny, Rip. Trust me. The map, the map. Okay, okay. I'm off. If you only had a brain. Dearly beloved. We are gathered together in the presence oh, of the Oh, you Lord started without me. Oh. To join this man and this woman in holy marriage. Instituted and... I had a flat tire. I, I'm sacred. so sorry. I and must look a fright. The respect <coughs> of men and <coughs> you, now, you. Uh, we will pledge our trouble. You low. No, there's any just reason why yep, should it's not me. Be Do you, Dan, take Maggie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Oh, indeed he do. And do you, Maggie, take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband? I gotta show you something. Uh, hi, darling. What, what do you got there? You know what it is, chia head. <coughs> do you, Maggie, take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband? Awfully wedded, you mean? Oh, I, I got hey, it. Ah. What is this? Ah, uh, no. I, we see. I was uh, go. Do you, Maggie? It's a treasure map to ancestor's fortune, and he's only marrying you to get it. What? Is that? True, Dan. Uh, uh, let me tell you about this, Sugar Plum. You see, I was waiting, and I was going to give that to you as a little honeymoon present. Now, Jenny, darling, why don't you give it to me? Sure, Daddy. Do you, Maggie, take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do not. Oh. All right, kid. I want that, and I want it now. Hey, Dan. Now pronounce you man and king. God! Dearly beloved, have you all gone insane? And the kid's got the map. Go get him. Zach! Dad, I'll meet you at Maggie's shop. 
What the hell's going on? Get him! Now, don't do this. You need me. <laughs> Seems you've got that backwards, mister. Well, you know, I hate to remind you of this, Maggie. I really do. But don't forget that I co-signed on your mortgage and you realize that I can foreclose on you any time. You'd do that, wouldn't you? Well, no, I, well I, yes. I wouldn't marry you if you spit gold and sneezed silver. Let's go, honey. Bye-bye, Daddy. Earl! Maggie, well, what's going on? Is Zach responsible for all this? Well, he is. He saved my life. I almost married that mongrel. You mean you, you did? Oh. oh, Frank. How could I have been so stupid? Cut the mush. we got to find that treasure. Sure, what treasure? She's right. Wow. She is right. Jenny, we've got to get back to the shop. Now, listen, you stay here and you keep an eye out on Dan, okay? little trip and now <laughs> hold on because we're landing Help me up. Give me the map first. Okay. It's in my shirt pocket. You gotta get a grip, dude. <laughs> Oh. 
Rip. Best friend I ever had. Ditto. Are you, sh Are you sure you want me to do this? Yes. I don't have any idea where the treasure is. This map is completely confusing. Here, what do you think? I, you know, I'm terrible at maps. I, I don't, uh... <sighs> the treasure could be anywhere. Mom, Big Dan and that guy from the bank are looking for Sheriff Higgins. Frank, come on. I don't have much time. Oh. Dad? What? I got the map. You got it. Ah, oh, that a boy. That's a boy. That's, that's, that, that's not the map. That's not the map. Now you get out of here and get me that map. Now. I really blew it, Rip. Thought I was the big hero. Guess I'm nothing but a geek. Remember, Zach, sometimes the thing you're looking for is staring you right in the face. Upside down and backwards. Matt. That's it, Rip. Gotta go tell Maggie. How can I? you off of my property because according to this deed everything here belongs to me out the dirt the tires and the map I think that belongs to me too Zach where are you
Come on, Rip. Let's get busy. Dad, Rip! Hey! Ah! Dad! I knew it! The water tower! Way to go, Sherlock! What the hell is that damn kid doing? Come on, Rip. Kick it, Dad. I'm gonna rope this here Mustang! <laughs> I think I can, I think I can! I think I can, I think I break myself! How is he doing that? Looney Tunes, huh? Come on, let's break it! Uh. Okay, Tyler, into the rug. you husband and wife, finally.
Meet Zach Tyler. He's just moved into town. And he's already getting into trouble. I'm going to kill you! But his luck is about to change. Ah, 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 I'm back, and I'm ready to roll. When he becomes the skateboard kid. It's really happening. Believe it. Way cool. Zach, I'm here to help. Now, he's got to fight off the bullies. Save the day. Kick it, Zach. That hurt. so much for flying air rip. Wow. <laughs> Starring Timothy Busfield, Bess Armstrong, Cliff D. Young, Trevor Lasore, uh, oh, excuse me. and Dom DeLuise as the voice of Rip, the skateboard kid. How is he doing that? Looney Tune time. Catch the magic. For Jamie Miller, life with a new dad means losing her best friend. There are all kinds of pets. 
Maybe we can find one that doesn't make Ben sneeze. She sees new possibilities when a traveling circus comes to town. And no family could be complete without the baby! <laughs> Backstage, she makes a startling discovery. Storm treats us like he treats his elephants. Yeah, but at least they work for peanuts. The star of the show escapes into the wilderness. Yeah, that's it! You're gonna be in trouble when they find you. Maybe that's what I should call you. Trouble! Because that's what you are. <laughs> and when the circus goes away, Jamie hitches up with her friend Harry, an ex-magician. I'm looking for trouble. Yeah, well, something tells me you're gonna find it. A ten thousand dollar reward has been offered by the parents of ten year old Jamie Miller. Pictured here. All it takes is a girl looking for trouble. Use the magic words. I love you, trouble. To turn a two bit carnival into a three ring circus. <laughs> Looking for Trouble is a magical tale where a little girl learns that friends come in all shapes and sizes. Laura Griffin thought her troubles were over. Hey, the invisibility formula should have been out of your system long before now. Would you take on a new foster child? You're going to be sharing a room with Josh. You want to show it to him? Yeah, sure. Just want you to know you have a home here for as long as you want it. But trouble has a way of finding her. Josh! Eddie! Sometimes when my mom gets a little stressed, she turns invisible. No way. Oh, this is just great. Even when no one else can. Mm -hmm. Invisible mom, too. When a wealthy industrialist leaves his fortune to a long-lost grandson... The sooner we dispose of the little nuisance, the sooner we'll have everything we ever wanted. <laughs> These people are Eddie's last living relatives. I'm rich! Oh, yeah! Who built this place? Boris Karloff? And the boy's real mother comes out of hiding. If they get their hands on him, they'll kill him. Air today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> Eddie finds himself in a world of trouble. Now his new stepmom has to uncover some old tricks to save the day. Well, I find it pretty interesting that you just couldn't find him until after he was rich. Holy cow, that was poison. But that's all in a day's work. Oh, Josh, Eddie. For an invisible mom. Help! 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 The police, so oh, thank God we're safe. Arrest us. We're murderers. It's not a good idea to take over my mom. D. Wallace Stone reappears. Invisible mom, too.